Hello everybody, it's Alex here. I'm back with Mega Man X. So I'll be taking on Stormhawk. So I was thinking about ways that I could make this a little bit more challenging for myself. Primarily because I've played this game way too much. And it's just not that difficult, especially if I have the enemy's weakness. So I'm going to try to buster most bosses. Good start to the level, good start. This is one of my favorite levels in the game. Um, my favorite is the Armadillos. Again, I don't know his name because I forget it. To get the heart piece, you just dash off there. You do need the dash to get it, otherwise you will fall back to the beginning. But So that's one out of eight heart pieces. Um, I fixed my audio, so it should be a little bit louder. It's probably too loud this time, but, you know, I'm getting there. Okay, so on this level, all the secrets are at the top. So you want to go directly to the top once you get the heart piece and just kind of cruise along the top. It's not too hard. You can kill those as they come up. If you don't, you have to wall jump up the side of the cliff to, um... You have to wall jump up the side to get to the enemy, to kill him. Okay, I think the first sub-tank is right here, if I remember correctly. Yep. So there's the first sub-tank. Basically, you just shoot at the glass to break it, jump in. Congrats, you have your first sub-tank. There are four sub-tanks in the game. I love the music in this game, it's so great. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to bust or kill most of the bosses. I don't know how successful I'll be, because some of them are really tough and I haven't done it before, but, you know, we'll try and... I'm also not going to be using save states for this run. I don't know why I'm doing that, because there's nothing in there. Actually, I think there's an extra life, but who needs extra lives? Okay, you drop down here, you can get your head power up. Basically, you dash from here, and then you can wall jump. It's a tough wall jump, but I normally use chill penguins for this, just because it's a little bit more powerful. There. And capsule. So basically what the headpiece lets you do is enhance your helmet so that you can bust through blocks. Um, again, this isn't a useful power-up. All it really does is make you look cool and lets you get the arm power-up, which is useful. So we're going to pick it up. Oh, and it also lets you get the Hadouken because you need all the items in the game to get the Hadouken. Okay. Moving on. So you can just wall jump back up here. Those platforms fall. And then there are some missile launching things here. You jump down the ladder <clears throat> and go through the boss door. And this is the... It's a fairly easy boss, I would say. He has a pretty predictable attack pattern. A few of his attacks are hard to dodge, but we'll see how I do. I can probably do this one without getting hit, but we'll see. So, he blows wind, which you can easily dodge by just dashing. You, this, you dash under, and then he'll fly up. When he disappears, basically, whenever you hear the noise, you dash to avoid his attack. I like to just keep dashing, because then you can turn around really quickly and get an attack on him. Coming back down. But 
Those birds are annoying. Damn, did that hit. That's the really only annoying attack he has. You can hit the egg when it's in midair, and if you hit the egg, then all the birds get destroyed with it, and you don't have to worry too much. But, yeah, it's not too bad. And, there we go. So, I don't remember what he's weak to, but I know that he's strong against Flame Mammoth, and Flame Mammoth has a heart piece that you can get after you've done Chill Penguin, and it has the arm power up. So we'll be going there next. So, I will see you guys next video. It should be uploaded pretty soon. I will see you later.